In this video you will learn how Amazon sellers can spy on competitors' backend search terms by using a keyword spotlight tool by Zonguru. Zonguru is a collection of tools for all Amazon seller needs. If you want to try Zonguru software, in the description of this video you will find a link which will give you a lifetime 20% off. And as always, if you find our videos useful, click, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel. My name is Veronica and I'm from Zonguru. Zonguru is a software used by Amazon sellers and researchers which, which provides an all-in-one tool suite perfect for all Amazon needs. Now today I'm going to talk to you about how to spy on your competitors back-end search terms. So if you're not familiar what a back-end search term is, Amazon back-end keywords are the phrases you add to a listing that remain invisible behind the scenes. And you input them in a search term or a subject matter section when you are creating your listing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse engineer what that actually means. So in a moment, we're going to dissect a listing um, that I believe is quite good basically. So you can see the dog bed in front of you. And then I'm going to show you what you would do um, to see um, what this particular dog bed is using in their back end. So when you create a listing, you know what your competition um, is doing. So remember, Amazon, your competition is side by side. Okay, we want to make sure that our listing is as optimized and as as possible, and that includes what the listing is looking at that the customer can see, but also what the listing is looking at in the back end. So basically what Amazon only sees. All right, so let's dive into this dog bed. So I am on amazon.com and I have searched dog bed and I have found that this is one of my major um, competitors in this niche. So just to validate how well this listing is doing, I've popped up the uh, Zonguru Chrome extension. And as you can see, the revenue here is that they're making $1.2 million a month. Okay, so I would say they are absolutely killing it. Okay, obviously um, the customers are loving it as well. Um, and it is for a reason. So I'm gonna dive in of why this listing um, is, is being so successful. So let's have a look at firstly the hero shot. As you can see the hero shot, it's got the product in there clearly. It's got a dog in there. I love dogs and I know that when I'm scrolling on Amazon, if something has an animal in it, I'm more inclined to click on that. And they've obviously decided that that's worked for them as well. So they've got their product, they've got the dog, but they've also got their packaging in the back as well. And I think it... Um, it works specifically um, in the US marketplace. It's all also got the American flag on it. So these marketers, these sellers, they know who their avatar is. That, that it is the American people and they love that this product um, is, whether it's made in America or has some sort of American association um, with the product. And they've done that um, really, really well. As you go through the hero shots, it gives the dimensions, um, a lifestyle shot. And as you can see, there's a bit of humor in there, like the picture of the dog. For me, again, I'm a dog lover. The fact I'm not even looking at the product anymore. I'm looking at all these dog photos, but they're telling me a story and I'm thinking, well, their dog likes them. I like them. Okay, F specific features of the product is very clean. It's clear. It's fantastic to look at. Give me all the information that I want. Again, giving the features of the product, but also showing that your dog is going to enjoy the product as well. And it goes on the sizing. They also have a video, obviously they have um, a brand and they have their enhanced brand contact um, content, which makes a massive difference. Looking at the title, the title has their fur heaven or, or orthopedic. So uh, their brand is in the title. They've got their keywords, that obviously explains the features of the bed, obviously the keywords that uh, they know that their customers are looking for. Reviews through the, work, through the roof, fantastic, Amazon's choice. And as we scroll down, we've got their dot points. So all their dot points are 
with keywords as well. As you can see, their keywords, when, when you're reading it, so when the description, when you're reading it, designed for pets, and it goes on. It's not crammed with keywords. It is giving the customer, giving me valuable information about the product, and that is super important. Keywords and listing is very important, but you do not want to cram your description with keywords that do not make sense. We still want to give valuable information to our customer. Um, and this product has um, done that very well. So sleep surface, easy on joints, product details, available um, variants, easy care, customer assurance, and even the pets that it's not suitable for. So it's giving you information that the customer can make an educated decision on. And scrolling down, they have their enhanced brand content, as you can see, looks fantastic, makes them look professional, gives you all the information, all the photos are actually from their listing above, there's not actually any different ones, but again, re-emphasizes the features, um, obviously we're all about recycling um, and then they've done a comparison, which is fantastic as well, because then you know, okay, how are they doing better than their competition? So those are a few features of why this, this listing really um, is doing very well. And their sales of 1.2 million a month is obviously reflecting their success. They obviously, A, have a fantastic product, but their listing, their photos, their um, branding, they've really optimised the um, the space they hold on Amazon to the best. So if I decided that I wanted to launch a dog bed, I need to take all of those points into consideration. Okay, what are the things they're doing well? How can I make it better? But one of the things that also considered is that our listing, our listing optimization, we have these back end keywords which are not seen on this screen here. So the question is, how do you see them? What other keywords is my number one competitor using? And this is where Zonguru comes into play. So once you're in the Zonguru page like so, this is a Zonguru desktop, under listing optimization here on the left, we have Keyword Spotlight. So what this does, and it is a fantastic tool, is by simply pasting the ASIN here, making sure you're in the correct marketplace you are searching in, pull ASIN, it, dra it drags up, pulls up this product. So as you can see, we've got the photo, ASIN, the title and the price. So we have all the correct details, but here it separates what their listing actually looks like. So the bullet points on the left-hand side, this is what we saw on the Amazon listing. So these are the words, the keywords that they are using that our customer, your audience sees. However, here on the right side, is the keywords that Amazon only sees, so the back-end keywords. So these are words you may ask, okay, well, if, I, if people are still searching for these words, why wouldn't I want to put them in the title or in the description bullet points? The reason being is that the back-end um, term words are usually words that maybe aren't particularly directly linked to your product or they can actually be spelling mistakes as well, but they are common spelling mistakes. So we still want, um, if someone's looking up dog bed, but they spell, I don't know, dog with an E at the end, and that's a common word that people are misspelling, you can actually place it in here and your product will still come up on the search term. So as you can see here, we've got gray, extra large, dog, puppy. So particular words that maybe they're not using in their uh, in their main listing for anti-anxiety. So again, things that I know that there are lots of anti-anxiety dog bears, but maybe their product, that's not their number one feature, but they still want to show up if someone were to look up anti-anxiety dog bed, for example. So this is a brilliant way to see what exactly your competitors are doing on their listing, especially that the back end to, um, words. And then you, with this information, you can go into listing optimizer and create a listing that is better than your competitors because at the end of the day we want to be better than our competitors and get those clicks so now you know how to spy on your competitors using zonguru and actually if you want to try this software you'll find the link below in the description this link also gives you a 20 percent lifetime discount if you sign up with one of their plans and now i would like to invite you to watch the whole playlist of zonguru's videos on our channel 
and one of them is uh, also one of the videos is also a full demo of this software so enjoy <laughs> 